Well, hey everyone, my intention for this week was just to do a normal addition to our vlog, but it hasn't been a normal week. For one thing, my editing computer has given me trouble, so I'm in the process of purging files, and we're also working on our yearly taxes, and there's nothing fun to film there. So, in the process of purging files, I came across a video I had started quite a while back, where I was poking a little fun at some of the stupid comments that people leave me. <laughs> so, since that video was already started, I decided just to finish it up. I'll share that with you right now, and hopefully life will be back to normal, and we will be back to our normal program next weekend. So, here we go. Remember when the pandemic started? Things were pretty crazy. And I made a video. In fact, I was sitting right here at the bench. And I was telling you about the experience we had at the grocery store. How everything that we had heard was true. Where people were in a frenzy and they were cleaning the stores out. But not of food or medical supplies or things like that. They were wiping the place clean of toilet paper. Pardon the pun. All right, so I sat right here and I told you just what I had told Lori and I said, before we checked out, I go, well, we ought to go and grab a, a, a package or two of toilet paper because I don't want to run out because of this hysteria. A pack or two. That is what I said. That is what I did. I mean, sure, I'm a woodsman. I live in the woods and I use a lot of the stuff that I get from Mother Nature, but when it comes to wiping the old poopa, I'm not using birch bark. Birch bark is a good fire starter and I don't want fire in the hole. All right? I like toilet paper like everybody else. And I don't want to run out. So I went in and got a pack or two, like I said. Well, Lori and I like to have fun. You guys know that. We like to poke a lot of fun at all the craziness that goes on in this world. We live in our own little world up here. We're up in the woods. We associate with a very small crowd. And uh, we think things are pretty nuts so out there. So we got a few packages of paper and paper towels, and we were out here in the yard. and videotaping and taking pictures of each other um, being silly. It's mine! Give it! You give it! I want it! It's mine! That's mine. <laughs> uh, looking like people were chasing us and making all these crazy expressions. We were laughing. We had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Then we took, we made cutouts. And we overlaid the cutouts over photos of the empty aisles in the grocery store. And we were getting in different positions and making it look like people were chasing us. And it was fun. We were laughing. And we did it the same thing, overlaid it pictures of the Walmart parking lot. All innocent fun. People need to laugh. They need to lighten up a little bit. So we were making people laugh, and they did. They enjoyed that little skit. Believe it or not, I actually had a few people reach out and bash me over that. One person in particular, and he made his way into my stupid comments folder. So, this is what Floyd Schott had to say. All that toilet paper! You guys are hoarders and very much part of supply shortages in the store. Go to hell! Now, I can't help but wonder how many packages of toilet paper Floyd might have stashed away. <laughs> but. That wouldn't be any of my business now, would it? But Floyd, since you really believe that we're cleaning out the stores, let me tell you a little story. After we wiped the whole area clean of toilet paper, stocked right up on it, hoarded it like you said, we took a little drive. We went down south, went over to Walton's Mountain, Went over to Ike Godsey's, but that Walton kid, 
That Walton kid got there before us, made a big snatch and grab, wiped the place clean of toilet paper. You believe that, Floyd? You see what he has there? Then we decided to go up to Alaska. Yeah, man, we went all the way up to Alaska, Floyd. And while we were there, we hitched up Frankie and Tildy and entered in the big sled dog race. Not the Iditarod, no. We entered in the Idita poop. We ran the two dogs in the Idita poop. 1,049 wipes, Floyd, and you know what? We won! So then we crossed the border into the Yukon, and I got a job as a Mountie. Mountie for the bounty, Floyd, all right? My job was to wipe out crack in the North Country. You know, while we were gone, people were breaking into cabins and stealing the toilet paper. I don't know how you play it, Floyd, but I like to have first crack at that stuff. When we went out to the outhouse, we would load up with the heavy artillery because I want to make sure that me and Mama, we get first wipe. Then we went to the moon but found no extra TP up there, Floyd. So I met with Dr. Spock and we took a ride on the Starship Enterprise. But we still couldn't find enough TP to keep the Klingons off Uranus. <laughs> I had to have them beam me up some Scotty. <laughs> now you should have just rolled with the humor, Floyd, instead of telling us to go to hell. But that is something I hadn't thought of, and I want to thank you, because we did go to hell, and we put the squeeze on the Charmin there, too. You know, some people really go out of their way to display their ignorance and arrogance. Why they even take the time to type and spread their poison, I'll never figure it out. You know, last year, Lori and I were really busy. Over on the other property where we plan to build our homestead, uh, we were cutting in about a thousand feet of road, and then we're cutting open the house lot cutting all the timber, dragging the brush, stacking up the firewood. We didn't hire anybody for anything. It's just the two of us out there working, doing our thing, working hard, and filming it and sharing it with you all. But like other YouTubers, sometimes you're just not getting enough done because you're trying to film everything and slowing up the process. So sometimes you just got to take a break from it and kind of focus on your own life for a bit. So that's what we decided to do, you know. So I set up the tripod over there and I was talking to you and I was telling you what we were going to do. I've got some great subscribers here that have followed me for a long time. So I don't want you to misinterpret what I'm saying. I'm not saying that I'm quitting making videos. I'm just taking a step back and focusing on other things. So we were just taking a break, and most people were supportive of that, but not everyone. Sounds like you're going to stop what you promised and be flaky. I don't think you realize what you're doing to others, or maybe you just don't care, because your happiness means more. All I know is you're saying in so many words that YouTubers aren't going to be able to be part of your life any longer because Patreon gives you more. It's all about the money. You expect to be paid for sharing your life with others. Well, I can say I'm glad you finally put it out there. In other words, you're kind of like a prostitute. You like being part of my life, then pay me. Wait, you said you're not stopping your YouTube. You just need time. Yeah, well, so do I. Life is what you make of it. The only part of that entire pile of gibberish that made any sense at all is where he recognized that I said that I was not leaving YouTube. I just needed a little bit of time. But it doesn't matter what I say. People put words in my mouth and then they attack me for words I never spoke. That's brilliant. Over 300 free videos on this channel and just because the boss man needed a rest, the indie outsider called him a prostitute. Well, I never seen a prostitute give 300 free pokes. Last year, about this time, Lori and I made a comical video poking a little bit of fun at the direction that off-grid living has gone in over the years. Mama's sticking a caboose way out for the fancy thumbnail. This is off the grid. Ooh, firewood. And she's keeping it real on the homestead. <laughs>
This is modern homesteading, huh? Well, this ain't how the Waltons did it. <laughs> Man, I don't care who you are. This is some crazy shit right here. So, because we do, we find it kind of comical. So, I had made a video um, about free refrigeration. Lots of good information in that. And the thumbnail shows Lori reaching into our icebox. She's fully clothed, and it's from the back. There was nothing sexy about the photo. So I get this comment that really made us crack up. We got a good laugh over it. He's bashing me because he didn't get to see Lori pulling the food out of the refrigerator. This is what he wrote. Why would you put your girl in the thumbnail if she was not in the video? Only people who know their video suck put girls in the thumbnail when they are not in the video. The thumbnail should be the content of the video. What a tard. You should have her get in a swimsuit for your thumbnail in the next video. Well, if you really need to see a 60-year-old woman taking stuff out of the refrigerator, have at it. Ooh, cottage cheese. Wait. Half and half. Oh, half and half. Don't get too excited. Leftover chicken. Oh, boy. Oh, Tildy, Tildy wants that. <laughs> Well, I hope that did the trick for her. <laughs> well, that's enough nonsense for one day. I gotta get things accomplished. I got a broken chainsaw here. I've gotta try to repair. I wanna clean the chimney in the workshop, and I got a few other things I wanna take care of. But <laughs> I don't know why people leave these stupid comments, but I had to share a few with you because we find them very, very comical. Um, rarely does anyone ever get under my skin, except that indie outsider guy with all of the free content that I have provided over the years because he misinterprets what I said, even though I said don't misinterpret what I'm saying. We're still giving free content. Look at all of the free videos that we have posted since then. But he lashes out and insults me and calls me a prostitute. And Who the heck does he think he is? Anyway, I want to thank all of the wonderful subscribers that I have that leave nice comments. And I'm certain that they come here to watch a video and never once have the expectations to think that they are going to agree with everything that comes out of my mouth. That would be pretty darn tough to go through life like that, and I can see there's a lot of people really struggling with their life because they just want to fight, they look for things to fight about, and this is not the channel for that. So anyway, I'm going to get back to work, and if you really feel the need to leave a stupid comment, well, we're going to deal with it the way that we deal with it, and we're going to make fun of it, because that's what we do. Lori and I are fun-loving people, and we're going to continue on having fun. That's what life is all about. So that's it for now, folks. All the best, and God bless. And the boss out of walking in the woods Living life happy and free Tracks in the snow everywhere they go There's a pokey way up in that tree A beaver built a pond where they have some fun Taking life a day at a time Best friends until the end Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss Frankie and the Boss